Hello, this is Bob Smith from Salcom Marine, and in front of us we have the ICOM ICM803 Marine MFHF transceiver. To switch the radio on, you press the on button down here. It takes a few seconds, and up comes the display as it initializes the radio. Alarm's going off because, as the message says there, the position is out of date. Press any of the bottom four buttons and we can stop that. On display here, we have an icon flashing showing that it hasn't yet locked on to the GPS satellites. Once it's locked on, that icon will stay on uh, permanently. But while it's flashing, we're still looking for the position. There we are, it's stopped uh, flashing now. We have our position. We're on channel one, which is uh, 2182. It says 2182 there, RX 2182 TX. So this is a simplex channel again. It says SIM to let us know this is a simplex channel, and we're on upper sideband. Over here we've got the position, we've got the volume currently turned right the way down and through because we haven't tuned the aerial tuner unit, so that the antenna is uh, bypassing uh, uh, the ATU. And if you just want to receive, listen around, then it's best to have uh, through selected here. And squelch because we've got the squelch on. So if we turn the volume up, we get no noise out of the speaker because the squelch is on. Give that a few seconds and that will clear. You can see now the volume's come up there. To tune the aerial tuner unit, change to through, press tune. Tune flashes and once tune is on, and we've now tuned. Volume control is this control here. But the volume control uh, does other functions as well, as well as, and you can push it in. So if you push the volume control in, it says volume, push it again, you get the noise blanker. Push again, you get the squelch level. Push again, RF gain, which is the receiver sensitivity. Push again, you get the backlight brightness. To change channel, you can change the channel knob in one channel steps. Or you can actually go up and down. So we can either use the channel knob or we can use the up down buttons to change uh, channel. Control knob, double function again, you can press it in and it now goes to what they call group in which it will go up in 20 channel blocks. Uh, but keep turning it, you can uh, go to the C2 channels where there is a uh, 31 8 megahertz ship to ship channels, simplex channels. Turn it again, we get the C1 channels which is 21 4 megahertz channels. Because if you press the knob in, we go back to selecting channels. So now it just goes around all those channels. Press it in again, we can go through all the groups. So programming into the radio is uh, all the marine channels, 22, 18 megahertz, 16 megahertz, a range of channels programmed into the radio. But here at uh, Salcom Marine, we reprogram the radio. So we go and put all the UK Coast Guards from channel 141 in, so there's Aberdeen, uh, Coast Guard, Belfast, Falmouth, Humber, Shetland, Stornoway, Marlinhead, Valencia, so all the UK, Irish Coast Guards, Belgium, France, and we put a range of Coast Guards in. We also reprogram the radio and put a number of broadcast stations, so channel 100, is BBC Radio 4, and it gives you the description BBC Radio 4, Channel 101, BBC Radio 5. And at 103 BBC World Service, so uh, a number of BBC World Service uh, frequencies programmed to the radio as well. We also put a number of yachts and net channels and ship-to-ship -ship channels, so Channel 9, takes you to 4149 kilohertz, which is a ship to ship channel. Channel 15 puts you on to 6230. Uh, channel 17. So we have a range of ship to ship channels, um, yacht net channels, so uh, channel 41, Fiji net channel, coconut channels, channel 40. Reprogram the ICOM M803 with a, a range of useful channels used by yachtsmen. Along the bottom here we have a, a range of smart buttons. 
first one compose the distress compose other but if you press the side button here you can get some other options like emergency frequency email mode and scan pressing the emergency frequency puts the radio straight on to 2182 press it again releases it from 2182 Email, as well as being 160 channels, which, as I've said, we've programmed up with popular ship-to-ship -ship channels, there's also 160 email channels. So there's channel 1. Uh, but what we found uh, was from channel 99 to 160, was not uh, nothing was programmed into those channels. So what we've uh, done is reprogram the radio so we get a range of uh, weather fax stations. So from channel 100 upwards, uh, that's the Japanese weather fax station, uh, the US weather fax stations, Canadian weather fax stations, uh, a range of weather fax stations programmed to the radio, RTTY, which is uh, data from the uh, German Met Office, and uh, DDK, which is uh, the German weather fax. And the UK weather fact station. There we are broadcasting uh, weather fact from the UK. So we put a range of uh, weather fact stations, RTTY, uh, NAPTEC frequencies into the uh, radio, making use of those at channel 100 to 160 uh, email channels. Let's say that's something we do here at Salcom Marine. Press the email button, it goes back to the uh, usual one to one. Mode button changes the mode, so currently we're on upper sideband USB. Press mode, we've got AM for broadcast stations. LSB, lower sideband. FSK, FSK frequency shift keying for data. Uh, CW, constant wave, uh, Morse code. And back to upper sideband. Scan scans around 20 channels on the radio uh, that the radio is on. So if you want to scan all the uh, Coast Guard channels, we can go to channel 141. Aberdeen Coast Guard and press scan and now the radio will scan uh, 141 to 160 when it gets to 160 it goes back to 141 so we're now scanning all the Coast Guard channels um, from 141 to 160 but it will do any 20 channels so I could have put it on channel 100 and scan from channel 100, 101 should I say um, to 120 so it's just scanning around all the uh, Coast Guard channels as you can see but this is the way that uh, we set the radios up. If you've got your radio from somewhere else, you may find it scans other channels. Stop scan, just press scan. We've now stopped scan, channel 156, which is Las Palmas. Press the side button again. We've got uh, MB, which is a noise blanker. So you can press it, MB comes up. And it just removes pulse type uh, noises. The squelch, so the squelch now is uh, on so we've got the background noise put the squelch on go to channel 91 and here we have shannon uh, putting out weather for aircraft and because she's talking obviously the squelch is on but we can hear as soon as we go to a channel where and uh, the squelch stops as soon as we go to a channel so there's the RAF uh, broadcasting there weather. So uh, that's the squelch control. So the squelch here. Power, this is the transmit power. Currently we're on high power. Press it once, we get low power, and it comes at the top of the display and says low. Press it again, you get medium low power. Again, medium high power. And finally, high power. Doesn't actually say when it's on high power. This control is the clarity. The clarity is a receiver fine tune. So, if a station's slightly off frequency, uh, you can adjust uh, the frequency. So, it changes the frequency in uh, 10 hertz steps. So I'll take the way you're here. Now I've got a very high pitch. So that's the clarity control. Which is just a receiver fine tune. Compensating for anybody who's slightly off, uh, any station which is slightly off frequency. Press it again. Uh, this is a very nice feature. RX Play 
uh, the ICOM M803 records the last two minutes of everything it's heard. So if you want to listen to uh, something which happened within the last two minutes, press RX Play, turn the volume up a bit. And now we can hear what was being received 58 seconds ago. So it records the last two minutes. Switch the function off, just press clear. So that uh, lets you uh, to uh, listen to what's been received in the last uh, two minutes. Uh, speaker literally just switches the speaker off. So now the speaker is off. So turn the volume up, not going to hear anything because I've got the speaker turned off. Turn it uh, back on again. Uh, you now turn the speaker back on, but we have the squelch on. AGC automatic gain control always best uh, left on. And although it says AGC off because when you press it, it goes off. And if you give it a press, so always best uh, left uh, on uh, when that's when that just displays off. That's the AGC control. Yeah, you can adjust the backlight. So we've got backlight adjustment. Uh, DSC log uh, lets you have a look at all the uh, calls that have been received. So we can have a look and see if you received distress or other. And there we received a, a DSC acknowledgement. We actually uh, made a DSC uh, test call. Um, from this radio and that is the argument that's come back you can go in and you can see it's a DSC test call to Corona in Spain and it was safety and it was received on 8414.5 kilohertz so we can receive a, a, a DSC call which we made earlier voice scrambler um, allows you to scramble your transmission uh, to use that you'd need to be talking to another boat uh, with a, an ICOM M803 or the same type of scrambler, but it means that you can have a, a fairly uh, secure conversation with nobody else listening in with a scrambler feature switched on. So this really has a, a voice scrambler built into it. MV level just lets you sit to set the level of the noise blanker. So we've got a range of uh, functions uh, along with these smart buttons along the bottom, which we have access to. Finally, if you want to change one of the channels, you can reprogram channel 1 to 160. So if you go to 160 and press enter, if you want to change this frequency from 7130, press the RX button. You can now change the frequency uh, in one kilohertz steps. As such. I'm going to go up in 10 kilohertz steps. Or you can actually go up in 1 megahertz. But when you get to a frequency, if you wish to then uh, save it to uh, channel 160. So if it wanted to change uh, uh, and now save this frequency into the radio, all I have to do now is save channel. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. So we've now gone and programmed channel 160 to 7166. Press the RX button again. We've now gone back to uh, being on channels. And there it is, 7166. Press the RX button, RX TX button in. We can now uh, rotate. to save that channel. We've now saved uh, channel 160 to 7167. So that's how you can program up uh, each of the channels. And I trust you've enjoyed having a quick look through this uh, new ICOM M803. Thank you for watching. Out.